Hello. So I'm here with beautiful Vanessa, Vanessa Joy. Like Hello. A Perfect. Um, and this is actually your second time coming into the group to share. Yeah. So now we're like, we've, we've wrapped up our experience. And so there are some more progressions. Um, let me just open the group and see who might be joining us. And always thank you for, for doing this with me. I, I don't take it lightly at all. Oh. Whoever's watching, say hello. Okay, so here with Vanessa, Vanessa and I work together one-on-one, -on -one, mm -hmm. but actually a lot of it was really relevant to you to this concept of receiving. Yes. Oh, yeah. Anyway, we worked on a few things, right? Like inner child stuff, your right. most empowered self, um, communication. There was quite a bit. Do you want to tell us a little bit about how things were in your love life kind of when we first started to work together? Um, and like, what, what kind of drew you to then wanting to do this, this kind of coaching? Mm -hmm. For sure. So when in the first video, the first live we did together at that point, before we started working together, I was in a long distance relationship and we had just parted ways because the distance was, it was just not working currently for us. Mm -hmm. And I was, I was drawn to Diana. I was watching her videos. I was watching your videos and consuming your content and I felt like this pull in terms of not only do I need help or need guidance I should say in terms of love but self-love there was something like where I needed a mentor someone to drive me to guide me as well in terms of what's not working for me what's not working because I could see what wasn't working in that relationship and I just couldn't put my eye on it and I knew that there was patterns there was ways that we had to change and how I was acting prior in my love life, I was very needy. I needed a lot of attention. I needed a lot of reassurance. I needed a lot of knowing the hows. I needed to know all the hows. I needed to drive the bus. Mm -hmm. um, I'm looking down because I took some notes, but mm -hmm. reassurance. Uh, yeah. My worthiness was a lot given to others. Like I was looking for confidence in others. People yeah. wanted that like external validation kind of thing. exactly exactly um, I was an over giver as well and a people pleaser so it's kind of like this big um messiness and stickiness and I knew it was no longer serving me I knew how I was acting and I was showing up in the past long distance relationship wasn't feeling good yeah. and I knew it was like almost bigger than just love it was like I need this big mentorship in terms of who I need to be as a woman and then like kind of have that um, trickle down into my love life. Yeah. And I definitely like watched you evolve from woman to like woman. <laughs> <laughs> and it's been so fun for me. <gasps> what would you say if you're willing to share with us or mm -hmm. your biggest or big, whatever, you know, whatever you're wanting to share aha moments in our time together? Mm. We were lucky enough to work month over month. So it was, it was a, a pretty extensive period of time so I really every month there was an aha moment every session there was a big aha moment and first of all it was life-changing like my life myself I've changed like it, it, I'm not the same woman that I used to be that I can definitely say um my one of my biggest aha moments moments was learning to lean back <laughs> lean back and receive lean back lean back lean back I think I've never leaned back ever in my life in terms of relationship or even myself I was always on the driver's seat asking like are we there yet where are we where are we going how is this going to happen the house I was so attached with the house and now it really learning to detach from that detach from the outcome be in the present moment lean back learn to receive like learning my feminine energy that was something I had never tapped into consciously in a way yeah, yeah. Uh, I was always like driving the bus and my masculine and, and that was a big 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 aha moment um how do stories in the past beliefs that I was telling myself did no, no longer serve me they were no longer serving me and they were stopping me from growing and expanding that was a big aha moment we did a lot of work on that mm -hmm. um and I, I do practice that still today to trust in my worthiness, like uncovering who I am as a worthy queen, as this mm -hmm. beautiful being that I am, like trusting that that's, a, that's in my power and uh, 
really to float and listen and dance through life. It's so silly, but it's such a, sometimes we over plan, we over analyze and we just don't give any room for any surprise. And it was just, that was one yeah. of those were big aha moments. And your life, like your actual life is totally different. Like you and your, the reflection of your life has completely changed over our months of working together it is completely amazing changed. to watch. And when, by the way, when Vanessa and I talk about like leaning back and receiving, I don't, I don't only mean in the context of with a man, like even practicing that relationship with the universe and allowing the universe to step in and like giving some space. Like if we're always right there, right. If we imagine like whether it's a partner or the universe and we're always right there, mm -hmm. where's the space for them to come in towards us and give us what we also need. Right. So it's this kind of like, it is, this is like this leaning back in this spaciousness that takes so much trust. Right. And, and so much deconditioning so that, they can come in and provide also like we've asked we've put out the desire now can we trust enough to relax and like you've just manifested like one incredible thing after the other mm -hmm. can you tell us a little bit about queen v yes and how she helps you navigate your love life mm. so queen v is really my highest most queen vanessa that she can mm -hmm. be She's the aligned self in me. So mind, body, and soul. She, I, I really wrote that she holds the power. Like she holds her own power, like her own worthiness. And she's very worthy. So <clears throat> whenever there are times where I will slip up and feel like I need a little bit of attention, I need a little bit of male like reassurance, she's going to come back and say, Dude, our power is in our hand. We're not going to give our power to a man so he can tell you that you're worthy or beautiful because that's literally giving your power away you're actually giving power to other people to reassure you so then you feel better it's like that that was like a big learning for me even the work I do and all of that like I really really like, like learn to talk to myself and like say you're doing so well oh my god you're amazing like really mm -hmm. giving showering myself with love and that's what Queen V does um she exudes feminine energy like she, she, she knows what it's like to, to receive. She knows when it's like to, when her input is needed, when she needs yeah. to give a little bit, uh, she loves to play. She loves to dance. So she really keeps me grounded in my truth, mm -hmm. keeps me grounded and like, kind of like, <clears throat> sorry, has a, a flashlight to like, this is where we're going. Come on, let's go. Like, oh, you yeah. don't know where we're going, but yeah. let's go there. And like, then let's sit back on this throne and and yeah. relax with all our girlfriends and all the yeah. queens around the city. <laughs> <laughs> My imagination can go so far. <laughs> I love the, I love the visual. <laughs> I'm with you. <laughs> yes. So she really helps me to, to make higher choices, make good decisions that come from a place of worthiness and not a place of lack. That's also really important for me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And yeah, so everything beautiful. I do. Yeah. And I know, you know, one of the things we really worked on to also help you step more into queen v is like communication so like, what, yes. like i'm watching you now and i'm like oh she's so in her queen v oh. <laughs> <laughs> i'm receiving that she, before i would have been like no what are you talking about I'm, now i'm like thank you yeah mm -hmm. how has your communication shifted mm. I mean, it's, I think it's no surprise to anybody who listens to you and follows you how amazing of a communicator you are. And I remember there was times where I would voice note Diana and I would like literally split, like spit out all the things that were coming out of my mind. And I was, <laughs> yeah. at one point I did the exercise and I had listened to myself back to my audios, my voice notes. And I was like, this, this is so noisy. Like this is so noisy for yourself, for the person who is receiving. This is so many words. What are you trying to say? What's the message? Why are you tiptoeing around the question you want to ask your coach? Yeah. Why are you tiptoeing around the things you want to say to your friends, your family, or your, the men that you're in a relationship with? Um, so I really learned to like slow down, yeah. slowing down, thinking before I'm speaking, almost like less is more like less is actually more, less yeah. is more, be straight to the, go straight to the point and to trust myself in like, in saying things, how they are, how, this is how I feel. This is yeah. why I feel this. This is what I would like, what I would love. 
without like sugar coating because that people pleasing will come into play and you'll want to sugar coat yeah. and be like uh, and and like that communication just having that straight to the point yeah um way of talking is really helpful yeah it is and like we we examine that you know like yes with men but also like with friends and co-workers and mm. communicating like what you want in your work or whatever it is right it's like that just honing in on like the the what is it that you really want to say? And can you just have the confidence and cultivate the confidence to say it? Yes. Can you tell us a little bit about your, I don't want to say new, but kind of new, <laughs> renewed relationship with the receiving? Mm. This is actually really new. This is really new. And um, I think it's, it's so empowering. It feels so juicy like you, you realize that people, you allow people to show up in their truth. You allow people to come to you in the way that they want to come to you. You allow things to come in their, in, to you in the way that they're, they should, because just like you, I always picture you when you told me this, like when you're standing right there asking for someone like updates, what should we go on a date? Should we do this, 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 this? They're just responding to your requests, your queries, your ways of being, but you're not giving them the space to show up as their truth. Yeah. So learning to receive was really like letting go of the overthinking, letting go of yeah. like the outcome, letting go of, yeah. of how things should be. And it's just like, ah, oh, yeah. Just so thankful to be here. And, and you detach from like future tripping, you detach yeah. from and the future tripping is such a big part for so us. Huge. Yeah. It's so <laughs> huge, especially in relationship. You're like, oh my God, when is this? Is this? And you're like, I really learned to be more present and more in my feminine. It's really like, again, in my feminine, and you realize how things come to you when you are there to receive them. Yeah. Like so many things came to me at that point. Yes. I have shivers. Thank you. Me too. <laughs> Okay, so things come to you, mm -hmm. including a yeah. new man in your life. Mm -hmm. How are you showing up differently with him and in this like new, you know, new budding relationship? Mm -hmm. And how is he responding to that? Okay, so I'm so happy because I started dating and, and it was coming out of this whole transformation. So I was really conditioning myself to practice because it's one thing to know all the the knowledge and take it in but to practice is really yeah. also another step yeah and I really have learned to lean back receive and for example I would make a little bit of steps in terms of like okay let's do you, would you like to go for a coffee and he would like he'd be he for example he would say yes for sure let's do that I'd be like perfect and my old self would be like, okay, so when should we do it? Are you free? <laughs> like my weeks are planned in advance and I'm like, well, I'm in my calendar. Like, and then I was like, okay, perfect. And I just lean back and I'll, I'll let him come to me with his date, with his time. Um, and if I'm free, I'll go. If I'm not, I'm not. And, and I was, I really practiced that in multiple dates of just like leaning back. Let me let him take the rein. He's the man. I'm going to give him that, that, that not give him, but allow him to show up as <laughs> the male that he is, the male energy that he has. And I'm going to be a feminine energy through that. And I think that what it allowed as well as for him is that he feels that I'm not needy. Yeah. He, know, he knows that I'm not needy. He almost like, is like, is she interested in me? Like I am, but you know, he, he'll, he'll kind of also, he went on vacation for a really long time. He was like, do you, did I know you miss me? Like he would say that, I know you miss me. And I was like, do I? I was like, and to myself, I was like, do I miss you? Because I'm doing so many things here. But yeah, enjoy your company. And I would literally say, I miss you as much as you miss me. Like, yeah. just to, like <laughs> and I don't know if this is the right game to play, but it's fun. It's like you're being flirtatious. Exactly. And it's, it was just like, um, it's like he needed me to tell him, like he almost like was looking for, hey, like maybe a little of something when in my old self, I would have been like, do you miss me? Like, are you having that much fun? Like what, what's happening? Like, weren't you texting me or anything like that? But now I'm just really letting him show up in the way that he wants to show up in the relationship, in the, in the dating phase. And yeah. Uh, yeah. And same for me, like I'm receiving, like, Hey, if we hang out, if you offer perfect, I'm not going, I'm going to really step down, like from, um, from the driving the bus. 
Yeah. And, it, and, and it's not like yeah, for whoever's watching, right? Like Vanessa shared too, like she said, like, why don't we go for a coffee? Yes. Right. And, and even in a really organic way, it was kind of like you who started the yes. connection almost. Right. So there's not to say, you, you know, yeah, of course you also have masculine energy within you and that helps to get things done, but it's about not being primarily there, exactly. like not making it like the dominant position of like, you're always planning everything. You're always controlling everything. You're always deciding everything. You're always wondering about the how and the when and if and you know we said when he was on going away for a month which was like shortly after you met right yes. it's an interesting time because you're trying to navigate okay we've been on a couple of dates I know we like each other and now you're leaving for like a long time yes. and we talked about like just allowing him because not because he has to have the control but because we didn't want to do was you to feel mm -hmm. for you to sabotage yourself and feel a certain way if you're sending him messages and he's like on a boat somewhere right? Like he was traveling in Europe, like, you know, or not reception or with family. And then you're left feeling like, ugh, I've been like communicating with him. He's not really responding. And then the whole thing starts to crumble because you get in your head, right? So it's not about like handing over all the control. It's about mm -hmm. if I really trusted that I was worthy and that this person likes me as much as I do, how would I show up? Oh, I love that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so good thank you yes and, and just bouncing on that it's also yeah. like not giving the power away it's like I'm I'm worthy enough and like really just being here in your worthiness and and trusting that exactly that you have that like inner power to love yourself enough to not worry about is he going to text me or whatever it is, it'll come naturally and then when you want to text or reach out and from a place of love Yes, it's so different than like actually needing that attention. Exactly. Right. And and I, I talk about this often. It's like it's so magnetic and beautiful and attractive to say to a man that you're getting to know, like, yeah, I really like you, or I, I find this really cute about you. And but then that's totally balanced with the fact that you have your full life, right? So like you're still doing like all your vocate, like you know, all the different things that you're into in your work and your creativity and your hobbies and your friends. So it's like, yeah, you can like tell him how you feel, but he doesn't feel the pressure because there is no pressure because you truly have like all these other buckets that you're filling. Mm, I love that. So our coaching ended a month ago. Yes. How would you say the teachings are still present with you today? Oh my God, so present on a daily basis. I think, God willing, they will be forever. I, it's like really a conditioning every day. I think about literally receiving every day I think about that in my business in my in my personal life with my relationships and even like I'll kind of share that with my friends who are dating I'll be like go back lean back lean back we're too we're too here we're not giving this space so really that part of receiving in my feminine energy I think it's if, if I could like kind of summarize it up is like it's a way of being so it's from that coaching I am a new women like I'm in I'm stepping into a new paradigm a new level of womanhood and and every day I feel it is just like ah oh, we're like nourishing that plant those seeds that we planted yeah. in coaching and it's it's just like life-changing life-changing every every day like I could never go back I hope not you know yeah <laughs> and and what I'm hearing you say then is that it's like it's really embodied oh yes oh yeah yeah for sure would you say what we did was mindset work only or were there other aspects to it like mm. so, so people are familiar with mindset work so if you have a limiting belief I want to work through that would you say we went also beyond the mind in our work together oh for sure for sure for sure for sure I, I find that so interesting when you say mindset because it's true that people may identify of like the mind like okay let me work on what's in my head but that connection of your mind your body and soul is so real like without your body being aligned without your soul being being aligned your mind is is not going in going to take you anywhere yeah you see right it'll take you somewhere rational but it's not going to necessarily take you in the way yes. that your emotional your emotional side is aligned your body is aligned and yeah so it was way beyond the mindset work and especially the body listening to my body yeah like that contraction feeling that the feeling of like what's happening here I had never been so aware that after we worked together yeah about like when something I'm I'm reading something or I'm feeling something 
like listening to like oh oof, this is this is hurting right now oh I need to stand like let me just breathe through it yeah. and that it, it gives you a lot of answers without you even thinking yeah. about it it just yeah. feels yeah the feel the answer yeah I love that this has been so beautiful if there's you know someone thinking about working with a coach near someone else mm -hmm. How would you say, like, what was your experience like of being supported by a coach? Mm. I mean, I keep saying it, but like life changing, honestly, like there are things where there, there's self-knowledge that you can go and you can learn, but it's another ball game to have someone really understand what you're going through, take you where you want to go, like really closing that gap of where you are and where you want to go. It, there's times where you will need that coaching you will need that mentorship and to me it was like a sisterhood it was like my big sister telling me this is Vanessa you're here but let's bring you to where you're gonna go like mm -hmm. and you'll never look back and it's true mm -hmm. and having someone look at your blind spots mm -hmm. knowing shedding that light and also calling you out like not in a bad way but calling mm -hmm. you out on, on past patterns and beliefs that you're doing and you 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 think they serve you, you'll defend that they serve you, but mm -hmm. your coach will be like, this is not serving you because we want to be here and this is here. Yes. So really, I encourage everybody, anybody to take the leap. I know that sometimes the financial, like our mind, like our lizard brain might be mm -hmm. like, it's a big investment. Some for some coaches are not, but um, mm -hmm. it may be a big investment, but it's life changing. It's really like what you get out of all of that is you can't even put a dollar amount on it you it's like yeah. you can because it trickles down it trickled down for my personal relationship with my family my friends myself most importantly mm -hmm. relationship my business it's it's just I know that that wouldn't have been possible without like working with Diana that's for sure and and and, and I, I really want to say that it isn't me but it is this feeling of it is this grounding of being supported and someone mm -hmm. who when your fears are kicking in and this is my experience working with coaches too like they hold the vision for you when you're feeling weak and scared and insecure and unsure and they bring you back to the vision right and we do the work that needs like what needs to be cleared so we can come back to the vision let's keep coming back to the vision so I'd say like it's not it's not me who creates this for Vanessa and anyone I work with. It's we totally do it together. It's mm -hmm. like this, it's really a co-creation and it's yes. a dance. And yes. it's so much fun. Yeah. Yes, it's so much fun. Mm. It's so much fun. It was really heartbreaking when our session, like our whole like sessions was over. But I know we'll 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 come back to another yeah. stage of life because that's what yeah. coaching is about. And that's what's so beautiful about self-growth. Yeah. I love it. Thank you so much for sharing. I appreciate you so much. I appreciate you so much. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> Bye ladies watching. If you have questions for me or Vanessa, just tag us, join in the conversation, even if you're watching this later. <laughs>